everybody, um, I'm back again. So this time again we'll be playing through the same amp, same cab, but we're going to be talking about another guitar. So this time I shall be talking about my BC Rich, The Dagger. So I've had this ooh, over 10 years anyway. Um, did give it away for a brief time when I stopped playing, but uh, fortunately for the guy that I gave it to, I love this guitar so much, so um, he offered to let me have it back and I couldn't really turn that down because it's, it's such a great guitar. Um, so this, there's a couple of different versions of this guitar. So most people who've seen this guitar, you might recognize it vaguely, it might look slightly different. If you've seen Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny, Kyle Gass plays one during Master Exploder. Now it's the Onyx one, so it's all black, and it has the more almost Gibson style, the plain headstock on it, whereas this has the Widow headstock, and um, this like uh, almost like sparkly gunmetal sort of uh, color with the black around the edges and stuff um, and then as you can see it is a semi-acoustic instead of the f-holes that you would normally get they are daggers of course and then so they're hollow but then you've got the block running down the center so you do get that partially hollow sound but you don't get the massive amount of feedback um, and then it is a I think it's a set neck, I think this would be. Uh, you can see a slight line where the neck has been set in. Um, no cracks like, but you need to see a line. Um, so, um, you have your strap button there, which at the start it takes some getting used to because the guitar will try to tip away from you, but you soon get used to it. Um, unlike a lot of the guitars I have, this is only is this a 22 fret, so it doesn't have the full two octaves. Um, it has the BC Rich's own pickups, which are actually really, really nice. Um, I would normally say there's like a big difference between the two but I think it's because I have the bridge raised so high there's you know it sounds like there's more of a difference but it's probably just down to how I have it set up to be perfectly honest uh, you have a volume for each of the pickups and a master tone same as the same as the Edwards last time and um, the three way switch so um, yeah no and it's a uh, no tremolo on this one. There is the big dagger that has a Bigsby on it, which I wouldn't mind trying. But yeah, it's more uh, ES335 style. You've got the stop bar tailpiece uh, bridge. So, um, and then of course you have fun times if you ever have to change pickups or any of the electrics, you will end up having to wrestle and fight to try and get at them so that's when you take it to a guitar tech because they know more what they're doing there um so yeah this yeah another one of my favorite guitars but you know i'm this one I, I love most of my guitars but we'll give this a wee try
so yeah again I'll not do like really really long sort of thing but sweet chat about the guitar and the quick wee play of it but um, yeah I really enjoy playing this guitar I've actually not had it going for a while so it needed a wee setup so I got that there so really pleased to have it back um, plays really nicely this guitar uh, I've I've played it live a couple of times actually now, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's just, it just looks cool, I think, you know, uh, other people might not agree, but everyone's got their own taste, um, because I don't think these did that well, but to me, I just love this guitar, and I got it for a good deal in a local guitar shop that unfortunately closed just before lockdown, but, um, yeah, got a good deal on it, and just yeah really like this guitar so um hopefully you enjoyed that um if you did like uh comment have you ever played one have you ever considered getting one um do you have one you know just get a conversation going um uh, if you don't like it you don't like it you know everyone's got their own tastes uh so yeah thanks for watching and uh See you later, Smegheads.